Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me well? Yes. Hello. I can hear you. Great. Hi, well. <laughs> How are you doing today? Hi, uh, fine. Thank you. Uh, fine. Very tired, but fine. <laughs> on a scale from zero to ten how tired are you <laughs> okay a ten <laughs> you don't know i guess you didn't get it anyway okay. uh, anybody else all right did you guys um are you working on the on the midterm yes yes have yes. you finished it yes 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 and what was the result i i finished did you get a hundred or you don't know uh, maybe. sorry 99 maybe okay so that's fine that, that's fine no i don't think that's possible though I think it's 80, 90, 100. Anyway, please work on it and you know that you have until the, the weekend, right, to finish it. So what topic were we looking at yesterday? Well, last night. Let me share my screen with you. Right, anybody wants to recap? Yesterday about uh, witches. About witches, right, and we finished <laughs> that. So the yes. structure is, what is the structure? Um, uh, I wish I, uh -huh. the, the subject, the wish and subject another. Exactly. And, and then the and verb then in what the sense? Present, present perfect. No, the, the verb in the no. past. Past, 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 past. past. Yes. past tense. <laughs> Everybody's like past. Yes, okay. Past Very good. Tense. Plus gonna... complement. Exactly. Very good. I like that. All right. We're going to start a new lesson. We're going to work with present perfect. Miss Irene, can you read the objective, please? Okay, good evening. Good evening. In practice, asking an answering question in English using the present perfect simple past tenses. Mm -hmm. In this lesson, English teacher Josan explains when you use simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing and describing your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral compression exercise. Comprehension. 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 Right. That H is not mute, so you have to pronounce it. All right. We're going to pay attention, guys, if you have your notebooks. I want this to be interactive as always, right? You know I like that. So if you have a notebook while you listen and watch the video, I would like you to take notes, all right, for better understanding. So mute the microphones. We're going to watch this to start uh, the class. Here we go. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. 
Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, their person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever and then the verb in its past participle form and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing 
um, for our next question, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all of the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So. If you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like, did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can, you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, Let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where 
and how did you like it so as you can see what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event alrighty uh, was the information clear Unmute the microphones, please. I would like to hear you. Okay. Was the information clear? Yes. That's clear. All right. Awesome. It's clear. So what, what we have here at the end is what you're going to do right now. Okay. You're going to ask questions in the present perfect. But uh, when you give any details about this or when you ask follow-up questions on the second image on the phone, I sent some examples of follow-up questions. So the first question is going to be something like, and everybody participate right now, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something like, let me see. The first one, I want you to make a sentence, all right? So you're going to say, ask the, the question. We're gonna ask the question and every member of the group is going to give an affirmative or negative statement. Imagine right now as an example, okay, that I'm working with uh, with Juan Luis and Wilson, okay? Imagine that we're in one group right now. And question number one, using the phone, okay? I'm gonna say, have you ever stayed up all night? Wilson. What? <laughs> say excuse no, no. me. Excuse me. Repeat, please. Have you, have, ever... you, have you ever stayed up all night? Up all night. Stayed? up stayed up all night no 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 understand um, stay, stay up means that you're not sleeping you didn't sleep that day or have you ah. ever stayed up all night i'm connecting the ah. word that's the, that's the natural pronunciation yes 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 i have yes i have okay and imagine i ask juan luis right make everybody has to make affirmative or negative a real answer okay so i okay. have wilson in this case would say i have stayed up all night and mr juan luis no don't i haven't i, I haven't I, 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 no, have I haven't stayed up all night no i sleep at eight hours 10 I, to 10 to 6. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to ask you a follow-up question, all right? Since Mr. Wilson okay. said he has, uh, somebody in the team has to say, for example, why, why, Wilson, why did you stay up all night that time? I, uh, I, I, I went, uh -huh. when I see the, the, the movie, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, serious? Uh, I, I, I yeah. think he study English, but not <laughs> to see movies. <laughs> that is not a valid reason to stay up. <laughs> anyway, listen, guys, pay attention. So, if you notice, the first the introduction question was, "Have you ever stayed up all night?" You say, "I have never stayed up all night. I have stayed up all night." Why did you stay up? Now the second question is in the past and all comments uh, are in the past, okay? Have you ever on a roller coaster? Right, okay. Went. And in my case, some some students know that I have stayed up two or three went. nights in a row. How, <laughs> have you ever went? No, have you ever gone? No, no, no. no. Okay, you hold on. What's your novel like for you to do for all of the Hold on. I'm going to send you something, okay? I'm going to send you the, okay. the list of verbs. And we have to use the third column, right? Past participle, not the past. Just to make past sure. And in, case, yes, yes. Yes. and in case that you don't remember, check the list. I'm sending it right now, okay? Are you ready to practice or do you have any questions before we do that? Uh, ready to practice, right? In okay. this, in this uh, teacher. Yes. In this practice, you use the the We're verb gonna... in present tense. No, no, no. no. Listen. Pass. Pass. Okay. Pass. Participle. Pass. Have no, you ever passed the participle? Both. both. We're gonna use both. Okay. Same for no. pass. The the angles the angles is simply pass. The respuesta. Simple pass. The respuesta. 
The, the answer is in the, no, the, the first, no, don't get confused. Okay, the question, here is the scheme. Listen, guys, the no, question no comments right now. Day. No comments, I'm going to explain, all right? So number one, okay. per, present perfect, okay? Yes. I'll you have well. to use, no comments right now, please. You have to use yes. past participle. So I'm sending you the list because we're going to combine everything right now, okay? So the question is going to be, have you ever uh, gone to... Uh, gone abroad. Abroad means a different country, right? So the country is going to be. Ouch. Yeah, guys, mute the microphone if you have a dog. Okay, I have <laughs> been to Guatemala. Okay, for example, number two. Now here comes the follow up. The follow up question needs to be in the past. Okay, so you're in going to ask things. another question. Why did you go to Guatemala? But this is going to depend on the answer, right? Pass. So I went. When I went, Bidos. Because I, I wanted. A, a meeting. With Mr. Meeting. Wilson, because I wanted to meet a girl, for example. No, 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 <laughs> the no, guy no. is reacting. <laughs> but imagine, right? You, no, but this is in the past, <laughs> Mr. Wilson. It's past. In the past, in the past, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Anyway, so two sections, right? Present perfect oh, and past. You're going to use both columns accordingly. Let's practice. Accept the invitation, please. Imagine the first. The second, the, the three answer question. Okay. I tell me. Hello, teacher. Yes, you had a question. Yes, uh, the activity. Yeah, I sent an image. Is... You're gonna ask questions and discuss them using the using the, the information. The, yes, but I sent the first image, second, and third. You're gonna use the three of them for. Hold on. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, I sent those images. Three images. Sure. Sing in karaoke bar. But what is the past participle of sing? Mm, song. Song. S-U-N-G, right? Have you ever sung? For example, you say, yes, I have. Um, I went to 4020, 4020, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I sang, la, la, la. So you, you discuss. Is that clear now? Yes. All right. Make the number four. Using the first image. The first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, no, or, or, or yes, I haven't. Maybe in, in Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number two, I, um, I have, no, have, um, the example is, I have I have a stay a stay a stay all all night. Example the question uh, should be uh, have you ever bought in the store? What number are you doing? <sighs> Uh, no, you are making the questions from the image that I sent. I sent the image to work with. You have 1 to 20. The first one says stay up all night. Oh, Second okay. one says go on a roller coaster. Third one says sing in a karaoke bar. Uh, entonces, so you, have to, de arriba. You, you have to use all of the first ones. Yeah, there are 20 okay. questions. Mm-hmm. 
Not questions, no, but make the question and then make a negative or affirmative statement and then the follow up questions. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, on this time. All right. I understand. Do you have any questions here? Which is the uh, pass of the verb stay? Oh, it is regular. It is. Stay it. Stay no, stayed. Yeah. Stay it. Stay it. Stayed. And so in the first is, I have stayed up all night. Yeah. Uh huh. And then somebody would a would ask you why did you stay up all night? Okay. If you want, you can if start, you want, you uh, can Guillermo. Uh, number number one. Number or number two. No, the number one. Okay. I. I have. I have. I have. I have. I have stay. Stayed. Mm -hmm. I have stay. Up all night. Stay, stay up at our night. Okay, ask okay. a question to, to Roxana, please. Um, <clears throat> um pasado participio. Yeah, the present person. Have, have you ever stayed? Up all night. Okay, the answer maybe can be yes, I have stayed up all night. Okay. Y, lo, lo, y la otra vamos a hacer también en el pasado normal. Yes, uh, we have to make a question or a sentence using the Past participle plus complement. Yeah, yeah okay. well, she that. says, for example, she says, I have stayed up all night, right? Why did you stay up all night? Now, the second question, let's move on to the second one. What is it? Why did you stay? No, the, the second question the is, have you ever yeah. gone have on you a ever... coaster? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Have you? Yes or no? I haven't. Have you? I haven't gone on a roller coaster. Ever. Why ever. not? <laughs> mm. So you've never been to Consuma? Uh, uh, no. no Maybe when I was sense. a child. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Maybe you when see, I was a child. when you're giving details, you use the past. All right. So continue like that. Go to question three. If you can turn the camera on, Oscar and, and, and Roxana, that would be better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, turn the cameras on if you can. A competition. A many competition. The past of win or past participle, what is it? One. One. That one. will win. Yeah, one. check the list or, or Google it, right? It's win mm -hmm. on one. 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 Teacher, there are una manera para aprenderse mejor los verbos. Eh, mm, let me see. Fíjense que en otro módulo, este mismo grupo, yo les di algunas listas. Unos, no, unos tips, tips. De, de, mm, okay. sea, de patrones que yo identifiqué en los verbos como para memorizárselos por grupo. Lo que puedo hacer, porque es algo muy frecuente, es. Lo voy a escribir en un documento y se lo voy a enviar, pero, Ay, pero sí, de todos modos se lo tiene que memorizar, porque eso ayuda un poco nada más. Porque audios la, no tiene. Ten, no, lo que tengo es una, lo que sugerí la otra vez fue una aplicación 
que la aplicación está en las tres columnas, usted da clic en una de ellas y le da la pronunciación. Oh. Uh -huh. es como tengo, una una duda con la, tengo una duda con la forma de responder. Bien. Have you ever gone abroad? La respuesta es, I have been to Guatemala. O tengo que decir, yes, I have, o solo, I have been to Guatemala. El yes, va inicio o, o igual. Ah, okay. Yes, I have is short answer. I have been to Guatemala. I have been, is the, ah, okay. the full, okay. complete form. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Continue okay. then. Thank you. Es present. En present. Ajá, sleep. Yes. Y luego en el pasado y en el pasado participio es la misma pronunciación. Slept. 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 Ajá. Ok. Ok. Entonces, y la answer is... Y esto sería abajo de las estrellas. Under es sobre. ¿Sobre las estrellas? No, under es debajo. Debajo de las estrellas. Debajo. I've been in second place mm -hmm. or third place and I never won. Okay. What kind of competition, <laughs> Rina? Uh, in, I don't know, competitions about science or um, spelling. So it was more yes. of a contest. Yes. Not yeah, you have that a profile. Not a, not a physical competition. Carolina, you look beautiful today. <laughs> ah, thank you. I think that I I I I was stressed because my computer uh, <laughs> is a, a problem because I I have three 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 years with with it. It's a uh, problem. It's getting old. Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> uh, but it's okay. You're here. <laughs> No, but yeah, I look different. One. Like me, look, I look different today because I, I went to work, then to school, and I just came like 30 right before the class. <laughs> so I couldn't change. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Continue. I'll let you continue. Go on. Uh, okay. The competition. Travel no está en los verbos que nos mandó ella. Regular, yeah, all the regular verbs are not in the list. ED, remember? Yes, irregular. Regular. No, regular, yes. Remember, we regular. have oof, don't traveled. regular verbs. No, traveled. Abroad. abroad. Traveled. Yeah, traveled abroad, exactly. Only ED. Yes. Wrong way. Eh, sentido contrario. <laughs> Sentido Ajá, contrario. Way. Yeah, wrong, way. wrong way. Sentido yeah. contrario. Ajá. Ok. Qué raro. Miss Irene, you drove. Wrong way. Uh, sometimes. Oh. When, when, I, when I was. Uh, how do you say? A I was, ah, in a rush. When you've been in a rush. Uh -huh. in, in El Salvador, right? Okay, yeah. number 10. Have you ever ma have you ever seen seen past past seen, 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 seen. Yeah, have you ever seen if it's seen, it's seen. Have you ever seen my fa favorite singer? Has you ever por el camino equivocado? Camino equivocado. Wrong. Yeah, wrong way. I haven't. Is, is hold on. What what number is it? Sentido contrario. Number nine. Number nine <laughs> is Have you ever run, uh -huh, up an escalator the wrong way in el sentido contrario? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh -huh. okay. and, and what's happened? Have you guys yes, has anybody of you ever driven in the wrong way? Yes, yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> <gasps> that is so dangerous. Really? When did it happen or where? When I don't know. Uh, 
the scent on, my, on the street and normally don't have a scent. It, mark. It's, it's not, there's when the ways out. didn't work. Ah, okay, that too, yeah. I did that only once in the United States. It's so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Number don't like uh, games online. Okay, the the next climb. one is climb. Uh huh. Have you ever climb 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 climbed climbed a mountain? Yes. Yes. I <laughs> oh. have. Yes, I have. So you can say what mount, mountain did you climb now in the in the question in the past, right? Escalator, the grow way. Mm -hmm. Next. Have you ever? Oh, next, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever seen, seen my favorite singer or group in concert? Uh, your favorite in this case. Have you ever seen yes, your favorite, favorite singer? singer? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I don't know what is your favorite, favorite singer. Ah, exactly. No, yeah, but it is. Because the sentence is supposed to be personal, that's why. Okay. Yeah, but say your. Okay. Um, no, I haven't. <laughs> sand. Okay. What is sand? Uh, like uh, MBR. MBR. <laughs> MBR. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I haven't. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. Well, no. Yeah, I, yes, yeah, I yeah. have. Yes, I have. Okay, also ask, I mean, really, who is, who is, Elisa, is Elisa participating? Yes, yes, oh, teacher. Okay. Great. <laughs> In different uh, moments, uh, because okay. I, I, I change, I change more. <laughs> okay. I my, my my favorite music in the in the before. I like romantic music with Miguel, Jazz, Kenny G, Michael Bolton. Uh, today, I like, I prefer uh, Christian music. Uh, Hilton is a, a big group in the famous in the Australia. Um, yeah. He, he, the music is uh, the best in the world. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. And your case, Rina? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't been in a concert. Okay. In, in my case, yes, I have. Uh, the last year, I uh, in a concert of... When? Uh, this is uh, uh, two years ago. Two, two weeks ago, uh, when the... Uh, uh, to a friend uh, because uh, the daughter his her daughter uh, was sick. <laughs> <She's> sick. <laughs> <She's> sick. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, oh. And you, and you went in the way. For. Híjole. Yeah. I raise money for um employee. For example. Oh yes. Yeah. Also I, I well I think is who sings uh it does. I don't it remember Trump. Yes. Uh, oh yes. No, yes I no. No. No, uh, I think what, um, I don't remember the name, only the last name, Sabina. Sabina. 
The fiddle's uh, name is Joaquin Sabina. Uh, yes. Joaquin. Ah. He, uh, he sings the guitars in my falda. And this may, is his Y 500 noches. Maybe the, the last concert is in, in San Salvador. Mm. Oh, really? Yes. And, and it's a nice with, moment when yes. you can see the, the preferred singer. Yes. Uh, it's, yes. A, it's, a, uh, it's amazing. The, and and I, I were with my, I was with my, my daughter because uh, she liked that. What what artists are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Next one, nine. Ah uh, no. Eleven. 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 Yes, eleven. Have you ever race? I don't uh, remember what do you mean race. Raise uh, money, right? Money huh? for charity. Yeah, it means Raise it. like raise is to try to ask for money in order to make a big amount and give it for charity. So raise is like collect. Collect. You know, it, collect. But it's not collect. No, it's raise money. Mm -hmm. That is the right word. But is the same? No. Mm -hmm. No, collect is more like like a collection or just let's collect it. But raise is like trying to build up. An amount, so it is okay. similar, but no. It's like the lip song. Yeah, they raise yes. money exactly. Okay. Okay. I I I, uh, I, I have. I have. Alright. I, I have played. I have played. All right, great. Next okay. question, guys. Next question. Uh, have you ever climbed a mountain? Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Him. Or Anna? Yeah. Yes, yes, I, I have. have. Right. I have climbed. Climb yes, That's enough. Yes, I have. I. Uh -huh. What mountain did you climb? Cerro uh, Verde. Uh, Cerro Verde. Machu Picchu. Cerro Verde. Machu Picchu. In my land. case, I went to the Pital. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Exactly. All right. I think. Um, hold on. One, one more question and we're going to finish. Have you ever built your own web website? No, I haven't. Me too. I Me haven't too. too. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me, Me too is affirmative. Me neither is negative. Me too um, es, igual. es igual. Me too, igual. yo también. Me neither, yo, también. yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Me neither, ok. Teacher, Me neither. Is mm -hmm. the bird climb? Claim? It's regular. It's regular. Regular. Okay. Climbed in the past with the climb. Climbed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Enviar sen. Of science. A hungry teacher. Yes. <laughs> it's my profession. <laughs> okay. Finish, teacher. You finish all the questions? Oh, great. All right. We're going to go back right now. Okay, everybody practiced. Um, did you use both present perfect and past simple, guys? Yes. yes. All right, great. Very good. We're gonna do the last activity then. Uh, let's read this dialogue. Okay, repeat after me. Hey, this sounds French. Nails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? No. Everybody no, repeat. Oh, oh, you cannot see me. Mm. Sorry, we're gonna read the dialogue. It is in section 4.2, okay? We're working on that activity, so go to the platform 4.2. Let's do that. Here's the conversation. We're gonna practice it. Repeat after me, okay? Hey, this okay. sounds strange. Nails with garlic. 
Have you ever eaten snails? Caracoles. 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 Have you ever eaten snails? Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Yes, yes, I have. have. Oh, I have. I have. I have them here last week. Did you like them? Did you like, like them? Did you like them? Yes, I did. Guys, the dog, the dog. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Great. Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why can't you try they some? Were they were delicious. Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? 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 No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Have you no, decided on an appetizer so. yet? Have you decided on an appetizer yet? There. Yes, I'll have a small mm. order of the snails. Please. I'll have yes. a small order of the snails. I'll have a small order of the snails. Please. And you, sir? And you, and you sir? sir? I think I have the fried brains. I think I have the fried brains. Fried brains. I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Fried brains. I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay. Any new vocabulary here? Yes. Yes. Brains. Brains. Garlic appetizer. Ajo. Ajo. Brains. Appetizer. Is, this is your brain, the, the one you see on the image. Cerebro. You think Cerebro. Okay. Cerebro. Yeah. No, no, no. Cerebro fritos. You. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I have a question. Are you hungry? <laughs> Not, you. It's nice, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, Irene. It's nice. Teacher, oh. it's so Caracole. Dr. Lecter. Sopare caracol. Doctor hey. Lecter. What? <laughs> Teacher, uh, what me? What is the meaning of appetizer? Appetizer is the entree. Entrada. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. All right. So we're gonna do the listening. Okay. Every. Uh, are you on the platform right now? So you can select the answers. I will play the audio for you, and you're gonna select the answers. Ready? Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do that. Uh, 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 hold on. Here it is. Okay. So you know the best thing is to read the questions first. So let's number read one. only the questions, not the options. Okay. Frankly, number one, question one, please. Quickly, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, Franklin is not active right now. Elisa, number one. Uh, has Caitlin ever eaten a snail? Very good. Question two, Rina. Rina, you're muted. What do you see, Walter? Irene, number three. True or false? True or false, all right? Not that one because it's not part of the of the listening. Okay, so I think it's only these two. Let me see. Yeah, let's listen and select the answers. Okay, let's work on it. You have okay. to finish this part tonight. So here we go. Okay. Okay. I'll play it for you. Hold on. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. 
All right, let's answer the questions. Give me, read the question and the answer at the same time, okay? And not, not at the same time, but both. Mauricio, number one. Uh, answer number three. Everybody agrees? No. No, number, number one. one. She one. She one. Eight. Yes, Nine. They, yeah, you can read it or write and pay attention to it. Okay, next one, uh, Roxana. Number uh, number two, Steve. Two. Two. Order mm -hmm. the fried brains. Yes. Fried brains. Steve, order them fried brains. Fried brains. Fried brains. Fried brains. Exactly. Fried brains. Very good. Number three, Juan Luis. It's true. true. It's true. No, Mr. Juan Luis, he's not there. All right. Crisia, three. Sorry, sorry, three. sorry. It's true. Number it's three. True. All right. Three is true. True. Okay, number four. Hector. Okay, uh, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Uh, the answer. Uh, yes, I yes, I have. Is second. The second, second one. Everybody agree? Yes. 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 Amazing. The first. Okay, Carolina. Mm, did you drink coffee this morning? Um, yes, I did. Oh. I have some. Yes, so I'm I going have. to work. Mm -hmm. Number first. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, it's one. All right, hold on. Yeah, but guys, remember. Yes, yes. Number one. The last time I said silence, please, was when I was teaching. A group of kids, I remember. <laughs> that was the last time. <laughs> anyway, look, guys, I gave you a tip last time. Oh, by the way, Miss Selena, I think you asked me, or I cannot remember who, but you said, oh, no, Miss Anna, I think it was to send you a list of groups. Well, no, we're going to review that tomorrow. Who was it? Uh, Anna, can you tell me tomorrow in class, please? And I will teach a little bit of it. I will review it, okay? So anyway, uh, okay. yes, guys, a tip that I have given you in the past is that you have to answer any questions based on, on, the, on the question itself. So if I start a, a question with, have you, la, 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 the answer has to be, yes, I have. Yes, okay? I have. Will yes. you or will she, la, 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 she, yes, or no, she won't, right? Depending on the auxiliary of the question, would you like la 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 la? Yes, I would. So you always mm. answer with the, the auxiliary uh, with which you start the question. Is that clear? So did you study? Yes, I did. Yes, I or did. No, I did. Exactly. It's impossible to think of another answer here. Yes. The question is did. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Everything you right. show the you show the the page the uh, página para tomarle una foto <laughs> anterior. <laughs> what? What okay. Ah 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 ah. The no. Hold on. This. Esa. Sí. Gracias. La voy a maquillar si le va a tomar foto, quiero ver. Thank you. Would you like? Yes, I would. Did you study? Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I will Thank see you again okay. tomorrow. Please join. Don't be absent from your classes. All right. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. See, you. You. see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.